Okay, hello again. So I'm starting over on the uh, S-meter calibration on this R4B. I just soldered in a new uh, CTS potentiometer. I bought some CTS pots off of eBay here. And uh, these are new old stock from probably the 60s. So what happened was I had tried these because I didn't know I could find CTS. I had tried these in here. These are multi-turn pots, 1K from China. These probably would have worked well, but since my transistor here was was um, leaking or blown up, I couldn't get it to calibrate. So I bought some CTS pots and put those in there. Unfortunately, one of them seemed to be intermittent, so I took it out and put in one more. So now I'm going to restart the calibration. Anyway, back here we go. So negative voltage, TP2, we're on that. No antenna, pan switch, different ranges. So no antenna correct, pan switch, different ranges. We're on 40 and we're on 20 on the pre-selector, so we're good there. Okay, so we gotta select this thing to um 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 uh 1.35 volts. Okay, 1.35, we're about right there, so that means we don't need to work on that guy. Well I can tweak it a bit. 1.35 wrong way it's very touchy so I'm just barely turning this thing here okay close enough 1.35 now what's next disconnect voltmeter and just S meter zero okay voltmeter disconnect here we go voltmeter disconnect S meter zero. I got the radio flip around the wrong way. We are pretty much here at S1, so I'm not going to worry about that. Reconnect the voltmeter. Now, here's where I got thrown off the last time. Okay. Reconnect TB2 RF gain to minus 15. RF gain decreases to minus 15. Decrease to minus 15. Here we go, close enough. Minus 15 volts, and now what? S meter sensitivity to our 40 over S9, okay. That's the one I just replaced. So the sensitivity pot was this one here, which I replaced. Turn this guy here until we get a 40 over S9. Look at that. It's right at 40 over S9. What do you know? Well, I'll turn it anyway to show what happens. Huh. It came out of the box just right. Well, that's it. So the S meter is calibrated. And they're saying do it again to make sure it's not goofy here, I think. Repeat three and four. Okay, three and four. S meter zero. Are we? Okay, S meter zero. So we go all the way up to here. Zip. Are we zeroed? It's pretty close. I guess it interacted a bit. All right, well, that's how to do it. I, I think it's close enough for what I want. So I'm going to try it now and see how the radio works. So let's do that. Let's, uh, Flip it over without killing myself here. I don't like those wires under it, so take off the meter here. Meter off, meter off. Take the wires underneath. Get it one hand, flip it over without getting shocked. Yikes, come on. Okay. It's flipped over without getting shocked. Turn off the meter. Let's go 20 meters here. 20 meter band, 20 meters here. Tune it for hiss. A little bit, okay. Let's find the antenna and put that back on and see what LS meter works. Here's the trusty 240 foot long wire antenna. I mean, come on, how, how great is this? And in it goes. 
There it is. Get that out of the way. Okay. Let's see how it works now. Let's detune it. Yeah, I'm pretty much at S1 here detuned. So, I have an S1 there. So, yeah, I, I like this. Let's see how the meter works now. It's supposedly calibrated, so. Supposedly will read true voltage, or true S, S units. Let's try it out. Okay, S. Let's go to 20 meters. What's cool is, since I worked on this radio, there used to be a big jump between slow ABC fast and ABC off. Let's take this off of here. Take this off. Jeez, well, leave it there. So, there's not really a huge jump anymore. I'm not hearing much that's strong here. How about the calibrator? That's not jumping through its socks, is it? Well, that's how they said to calibrate the S meter. I don't find it's seems pretty low to me. Our fiends up all the way. Let me check it for sanity again. It doesn't seem sane. Turn the meter back on. Let's ground the meter. It seems to be like it's not receiving as hot as it was, which it wouldn't be because I turned the receiver sensitivity down. But this is how I see the cloud with it, so that's on. Let's get another clip lead on to a clip lead on to the test point two here. On to the meter. And it's reading nothing. That's a problem. Okay, we're grounded. No, we're not. All right, let's ground it. Get on test point two here. Let's go to ground here. Okay, reverse leads. Put this on the positive. Positive here. Negative here. All right, so there's our 1330. They're saying 135, that's about right. 
and S meter reading of S1. It's not quite S1. Let's change that. Disconnect voltmeter. Does that make a difference? Yeah, it does. <laughs> okay. There's the S1. Well, that's why to do it. RF gain kind of clockwise, minus 15. Minus 15. Okay, yeah, and it's 40 over. So the meter is calibrated. It seems pretty stingy to me, but maybe I got bad signals out this way. What do you think? I don't know. Looks good. All right, RF gain back up. Disconnect this. Let's retune it back to 20 meters. So this thing is supposedly calibrated now. Well, let's try some broadcast band stuff here. Broadcast band is down here. 160 meters down here. There we go. Well, that, that was an S9, so I, I guess I'm happy with this. Okay, so I think we're calibrated. All right, well, that's about it. I hope you enjoyed this video with the calibration and fixing of the AGC ABC on the Drake R7B. Have a great weekend, and don't worry about a thing. Just be careful, and have a great weekend. Bye-bye.